So for the first true answer, uh, a particle's velocity is equal to the slope of the position versus time graph. Uh, velocity is basically just the derivative of position to time. So that's how I do the slope of the position versus time graph. And a particle with zero instantaneous velocity must have zero acceleration because that instantaneous is, uh, it has zero instantaneous velocity. So there's no instantaneous movement, therefore no acceleration. Um, a particle with zero acceleration must have a constant velocity because if there's no acceleration changing the velocity, like a object that's in motion will stay in motion until, unless it's acted on by equal or opposite force, um, there's no like force that is changing the velocity, which is acceleration. Um, and the last one is the area under the acceleration versus time graph for a particle equals a change in its velocity because acceleration is a change in velocity and acceleration is just the derivative of uh, velocity over the derivative of time.